It's the Daily Comedy News with your host, Mark Pyers. Join us for breaking headlines and all kinds of comedy shenanigans. Brought to you by the Beat Seat. I'm a bank teller. Nine reasons you should never ask for $2 bills from the bank. $2 bills, what grandfather doesn't love giving them and to the kids and love getting them, you know? Let's see, why not? They're not all whimsy and fun times. In fact, bank tellers said they could be a little more, more than annoying. I don't give a crap. A long time bank teller said nothing can slow down her day more than a customer asking for a $2 bill. Hold on a second. So is this, a, this is a f- article about complaining of having to do your job. Can, you, can we please just stand back for a second and realize this? I'm a bank teller. Nine reasons that you should never ask for $2 bills from the bank. The first one was that it's annoying. The first one is that it's annoying to the bank teller because nothing slows down her day more than asking for $2 bills. Now I got to go and find freaking $2 bills. You want the $2 bills? I got to go find them now. I was sitting here on my ass and I was just giving it to you on the ones. Oh, phone just died. I forgot to plug her in. That happens from time to time. It's probably better because I was doing a little comedy news and it seems like... TikTok's a little unmuted. I'm not muted, am I? All right, so basically, guys, bottom line, don't get the $2 bills. If you do, I don't know. I mean, I'm not sure what it means, but uh, I just want to quickly go through this idiot's thinking. It's nothing, there's nothing more annoying. Seriously, don't want to be that person. You know, it's like so annoying. They mostly don't have them. Like, that's the other thing. Like, we usually don't. Most people don't even know $2 bills exist, Rachel said. So we don't keep a lot of them around, you know? Like, when someone asks for them, we're like, I don't think we even have them. Do you really want me to go look? You know, and then I gotta go look now? There's no room in the drawer either, like, you know what I mean? Like, we've got hundreds, and then we got fifties, and then we got twenties, and then we have tens, and then we only have room for ones as well. Like, we don't have room for twos. Like, they're not, there's no room for twos. Nobody wants twos. They baffle the newbies, too, guys. That's the other, like, the new bank tellers. Someone asks for a $2 bill. I don't know what to do. Manager! Manager! Abandon ship! Like, they freak out when you get a, a, a request for a $2 bill from a newbie bank teller. A lot of newbie tellers have never seen a $2 bill before, guys. Like, ever. I'm a, I'm a bank teller. I deal in money, I give out money, counting money in the machine, and I'm doing that. And I've never seen a $2 bill before because I'm a newbie, I'm green. Like, like the money, you know? Uh, when one shows up, they might think it's fake or a misprint. Like, what is this? Is this Monopoly money? It says two on it, you know? Uh, I've had to hop in in someone else's line and help clear that up more than once, by the way, is what she, Rachel said, guys. She's had to hop on someone else's line and clear that up more than once. It just slows everything down. Back to slowing everything down, guys. One, two, three, four, five. All five were slowing everything down is what we got so far. Ready? Um, let's see. Anything else? Let's see if there's anything else that's not about slowing down the pace that they want to work at is these freaking disgusting, like, I only do five things for my job people. Here we go. Uh, they're more likely to be saved than spent. That's, that's a reason? Okay. When people do get their hands on a $2 bill, they tend to hold on to it. Like it's a four-leaf clover, Rachel said. They think it's cool or lucky. That's great and all, but it means that these bills aren't really circulating. They're just like gathering dust in people's keepsake collections. And how dare you have a keepsake collection? How dare you have like a stack of $2 bills and like, oh, I got this one for my Uncle Tim. I got that one for my Grandpa Mancac. You know, like that's, that's you're taking that away from little, little Jimmy? They could be hard to get rid of as well, is what Rachel says. If a business does end up using a bunch of $2 bills, they often bring them right back to the bank. Then we're stuck with these surplus of stupid bills, you know, and like nobody wants them. I'm sorry? Yeah, except for those people that we're talking about that come in and ask for them. 
Um, it can be really hard, and then you're, you're like getting them, trying to get them back in circulation, but nobody wants two dollar bills. You know, like this defeating the entire purpose of the article. Like if the people don't ask for them because we don't have them, but then you can, because then we have them. I can read this. I can't. I meant this is. They're just not worth the fuss. Again, guys, it's a lot of fuss. It's taking a lot of time out of their day. At the end of the day, $2 bills just aren't practical for most people, Rachel said. They're not widely used. And the odds of you getting one of the mis mythical ones that are worth a ton of money are super slim. So don't try even looking. Don't try to make it your hobby to look for $2 bills. Go into a bank and say, do you have any $2 bills? I'm going to buy them today. And now Rachel's got to get her privileged hiney butt up and go and look around. I was supposed to sit in my chair and just do this. No, Rachel, get up and get some freaking steps. Look at your Fitbit. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys, you get when you're doing it, you know? Uh, I don't even know, is anybody out there? <laughs> Hilly's out there, Trish is with me, you know, and DM's with me, we're getting a laugh, right guys? We do our best here to have a couple of laughs. This is a good bit. Anyway, the final word after, okay. Sure, they're cute and quirky, but let's be real. It's cash. Take the two bucks and get the freaking hell out of here. I got two singles for you, Timmy. I got a two dollar bill. We don't, I can't, I, I wanted to sit in my seat. You know, when I took this job here and I was a newbie and I didn't know what a two dollar bill was, my manager said, you don't ever have to get up out of your seat. All you gotta do is this. You know, and now you want me to get up and do something? I'm sorry, I can't do that. I can't. My job, it's at stake. What if somebody comes here and they need me to push that button, you know? And I'm not here because I, I went to go and find a $2 bill for you. You know, you're being really, really selfish at this point. So there you have it, $2 bills. They're interesting, uncommon, and maybe even a little less magical than you thought. But they're also a nuisance to Rachel. And they're not going to win any, any fans at the bank when you go in there and you ask. And all of a sudden you got like that revenge ploy. Yeah, that one. Yeah, it wants $2 bills. <laughs> yeah, no, just look for like 20 minutes. No, even if you have them, just don't, I don't want to, I'm not selling that freaking person a $2 bill. All right. I'd rather take the loss today than sell a $2 bill. Unless you're a serious collector, Rachel says, it's best to just leave the quirky bills at the bank, you know? She just said, we don't have them. Trust me, your neighborhood teller will thank you. I'll tell you, Rachel, no one's thanking you. Your neighborhood teller will thank you? I don't think so. Gosh, do you know why? Did you notice they didn't show a picture of Rachel? She's still in that seat. That's why. Oh, goodness, guys. We had some fun today. We have fun every day. I do appreciate you. Please hit the like on the way out the door. Leave a comment and share. I'm live at 9 a.m. and after 9 p.m., so join us. This is the Mark Inspire Show.